Hi, I'm Mari from Black Bird Eats. Today we're going to talk about how to get quality food for less. We're at Murray's Cheese, one of my favorite stores in Manhattan, and I'm going to show you how to put those tips to good use. Let's go. So one great tip is don't pay for processing. Anytime you go into a store and something's been cut or cooked, you're paying for that work, the money. No one wants to come home and cook dry beans for two hours before you have dinner. So what you do is just cook them on the weekend while you're watching Mad Men or whatever your favorite TV show is on a Sunday. Set them to boil and when they're all done, portion them out in small containers, freeze them and then defrost them during the week. They're, it, they're really delicious, it's really cheap and really high quality. to get tools that will save you in the long run. I have a lot of friends who buy pre-grated cheese. It costs about $2 more per pound than buying just a block of cheese. Plus, there's lots of additives that have been thrown in there to keep the cheese moist. So you're actually paying for the additives as well, and it doesn't have as much flavor. What you should do is get a microplane grater. They're super easy to use, and they'll save you a ton in the long run by buying block cheese. I think they're about between 10 and 14 dollars and you'll totally make back that over a year in buying cheese. Plus you're going to be using less cheese because your cheese is going to have a lot more flavor. Another great tool for saving money in the long run is a tea strainer. You can get the same tea that they carry in Kraft Restaurant and Danielle and Blue Hillstone Barns. You can get that same tea, loose leaf, and it only costs maybe between 30 and 60 cents per cup if you're buying it by yourself and making it by yourself. So another great tip for getting quality food for less is to always look out for the private store labels. They're often using the same producers, the same ingredients you're seeing in the other bottles on the shelf, but you're not paying for marketing or distribution. Murray's actually has some really great private label olive oils for only about $11, $12 in store. So what matters most is what's on the back of the label, not what is on the front of the label. Those brands kind of don't have that too much meaning unless you really know what they are. But private label brands, as I mentioned, are all using the same factories sometimes and the same ingredients that a lot of those labels are using. So look on the back of the label, see if there are a lot of preservatives, how many ingredients they're using, where sugar and salt are on the label. That stuff matters a whole lot more than whether or not it's a national